Hi there, big dog. What are you doing today? Oh, you're just a sweet boy. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what up, y'all? Welcome back to another one. Old Fred, look at him. He says, where are you going, Dad? I'm coming with you, like always. Turkey season. Uh, youth season's firing up. And uh, I am getting ready, first of all, to go to South Dakota tonight. Um, on top of that, when I get back, your boy's buying a brand new bow. And that's what the first part of this whole video is about. Me getting a new bow. Uh, this video that y'all are about to watch, it's literally my most memorable turkey hunt of my life. It was with a crossbow. As a lot of y'all know, I've been waterfowl hunting for a very, very long time. But turkey hunting, you know, only been going at it for about the last, I don't know, three to five years. That's about it. Long story short, your boy needs a new compound bow. Not only for turkey season, but more importantly for big game season coming up too. I love my turkey hunting, don't get me wrong, but it's time to go big game, y'all. Y'all have been requesting that I go hunt big game for so long and I've wanted to. And I do believe that now is the time. And the reason being is that I want to take the channel this summer and we're gonna get into a lot more motorsports stuff. This coming fall, we're gonna get into a lot more big game stuff. So, just stick around, the channel's gonna go through some changes, and it's gonna be a lot of fun, because I'm gonna start doing what Bobby wants to do. Just put it that way. But here's the old crossbow, the old girl that got it done last year. This is actually Gerald's bow, or his dad's. I think it's actually his dad's. Big shout out to dad for letting me use it last year. Uh, awesome, awesome crossbow. Not the most expensive one. And it uh, gave me the most exhilarating turkey hunt of my life. Holding that bow, as y'all are about to see, I held that bow in place for about 10 plus minutes. Shaking. Finally, the bird came in front of me and I was able to just smack him hard. But long story short, I need your guys' opinions. First of all, I need your guys' Just recommendations. What bow should I buy? When I come back from South Dakota snow goose hunting next week, I will buy a bow. Blah, blah, blah. I'm going to buy a bow. And I just need your all's help. Which one to get? I hear the Matthews V3. That is probably the most recommended one. I put up a photo on Instagram and I was like, hey, what bow should I get? Holy cow. Between Hoyt and that bow in particular, I don't know what to do. So help me out there. Let's watch this video. If it doesn't get your heart racing, I don't know what's wrong because it still gets my heart pumping watching it now. So enjoy the video. Well, here we are. Sorry if it's windy. 646. Okay, sunrise is in about 20 minutes. We got the decoys up. We got in here about a half mile walk in. Uh, as the daylight comes in, as the sun comes up here, I'm going to have to be quiet though. This is our little sitting spot. Gerald picked a tree. We went and grabbed some evergreens through in front of us. Little makeshift blind. I think it's going to work. Now in that tree. Is he? Yeah. You can hear him? I've heard he's gobbled three times. He's there. Roosted on the east side. Well, this is my sitting spot right here. He's back here rutting up. What are you doing, man? Trying to move all them sticks that might break underneath him before the turkey comes. So we're here, we're ready. Got the old unit, we're ready to go. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed we can get it done this morning. It'd be amazing to get uh, the one turkey I'm allowed here in Kansas. You are allowed two, but it's only in two different sections of Kansas. It's pretty remote. It'd be awesome, opening day archery to get it done. Well, it's getting close here. Should be coming down out of the roost at any moment. I'll tell you, wielding this bad boy, I'll tell you what, it it uh, gets me all antsy. I'm not used to it. If it was a shotgun, I'd probably just, I'd probably be taking a nap wait. But this thing, it's like a new territory. Feels feels a lot different, but boy howdy, she's a beast. Well, first spot didn't work, eh? What's the uh, what's the strategy? Well, they're going the way they normally don't go. 
<laughs> it's always usual, good. It seems to be pretty par right there. So we're going to back out, go around, try to get in front of them. Way behind me, this lens won't do any justice. But way over there, that tree row, they're way over here right now, and they're going to be headed back. We're going to try to meet them. Basically at a, basically at their roost tree, pretty much. Here we are, we're going to make our way along this creek. Tell you what, one thing about turkey hunting, low stress, don't have a thousand decoys like waterfowl hunting. I'm loving it. And it's warm and you got beautiful little views like this. Kansas turkey hunting, it don't get no better in the spring. Beautiful weather. Seems like it's always windy every hunt. Uh oh, check it out. That one's been there a while. Little guy. Little guy. Cool. Well, at least we're not skunked. <laughs> you knew I was going to say that. Deer all throughout here. I mean, this is deer heaven in here. That's a new Tom, so uh, we got the Tom at about 100 yards behind us. I just tried to grab my glasses. I don't have my glasses on, Bob. Trying to pull him this way. <laughs> but this is our new sitting spot right here. Up against this log, this evergreen. Right here, baby, we got the decoy. Right there. so 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 close it's right here he was right behind that big tree right there I was waiting for him to come on the edge right around that I was waiting for him to come right around the side of that tree he busted me he must have seen my foot move or something oh, I don't know because he I mean he was like 10 yards he loved it he came up to oh, it yeah, pretty he was, quick he was excited his piss is what it was <laughs> he was pissed the hens are still behind us Oh yeah. Oh, I thought it I thought I was done. I was shaking pretty bad, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Did you see me shaking? No, I was trying to focus the camera. <laughs> Gerald was running this. I'm over here trembling like a leaf. I didn't think I'd have a problem. But when you get one close, boy howdy. Especially if I had a shotgun it wouldn't be so bad. But wielding the that crossbow, it's a whole new it's a whole new deal, so not having built-in comfort, yeah, well, confidence goes down a little bit with it. <laughs> live and you learn, live and you learn. <sighs> I had to, just had to pull the camera out of the backpack. This is why, I check it out, second one of the day. Girl, you got an eye for these dang things, dude. He can see them, this is a nice one, wow. Look at that. That's a real nice one. That's a decent one. That's like the yeah. first ones you found. Oh, squirrels are already starting to chew on it. Oh, squirrels chew on them? That's yeah, what squirrels, that is? Squirrels, mice, they eat them up. Uh, dang. Twice we've came here and that's Jeez. what, the sixth one? Uh, fourth horn in that dead head. Yep. Freaking awesome. Dear heaven, I am not kidding you. At least we're not going out of, off this property empty handed today. <laughs> I think my heart's still thumping from earlier, man. Well, that's what's up right there. And we're good. Kind of eases the pain a little <laughs> bit. <laughs> it does, it eases the pain. It's the butter. Yep. It's the butter on the tongue. Uh, next spot, we saw two in the field up yonder. We're gonna try to roll in behind them. Uh, got about a, I don't know, quarter mile hike. Maybe half mile hike. <laughs> I'm gonna go with half mile. <laughs> well, here we go. Round number two, we spotted 
three turkeys. One of them's a tom, sitting out about <clears throat> probably 100, 120 yards away. Um, this is where I'm at, as you can see. There's Gerald right there. Uh, we have a dike right here, so we're on this side of the dike. The birds are on the other side of the dike. And it is a bare crop field, just a bare dirt crop field. Uh, that's where they're at, so. Wish us luck yet again. Come on, let's get it done. Be awesome. He says they're coming. Here we go. If they do come, girl said they might be Jake's. He said it's up to you. I think uh, if I get a Jake at shootable distance with this crossbow, it's worth trying it. This crossbow's not easy. To a lot of y'all, it is easy for me, not so much. He's gonna beat it up, watch. filming for nine minutes and 23 seconds on this GoPro. That's awesome. Oh boy, I'm still trembling. I don't know what I'm doing with my life. <sighs> oh my God. So, like I said, he's not the biggest Tom in the world. He's, that's a Jake, isn't it? Jake. It's a Jake. But with the crossbow, like I said, I'm gonna take what I can get. That was epic. Oh, not after the biggest one. Just really, I really wanted to get it done with a crossbow. Gerald, uh, he talked me into it a couple days back. He was like, dude, as much as we're gonna be hunting turkey, uh, you only get one shot, just tr tr you gotta try it with a bow. 
we got her done. Look at that. Right, man. Oh, I split his. I sp it split his wing. Yeah, literally a perfect shot. Was it? Yeah. Boom! Right there, squared him up. Two feet. He shot him like. There's his kick marks. Yeah. Boom. He went flop, flop. Done. <laughs> Not the biggest in the world. He is a he is a Jake, like I said, but what an absolute breathtaking experience that was, dude. Yeah. I'm ready to do that again, but with a compound bow. A lot of you are always like, Bob, get a bow. Why don't you have a bow? I've had a bow forever. It's not out here. It's actually inside, I believe. Or is it out here? I just sat it to the side so long ago. I spent a bunch of money on an old bow trying to get it revamped so it would fit me. It was still undersized. It still, I don't know where it went. It must be inside. Uh, it was still, it's still undersized today. Um, it doesn't fit me correctly. Long story short, just help your boy out. Let me know what bow to get down in the comments. Drop a comment down there. Especially if y'all are just like, Bob, this one is solid, get it? Like I heard, I'm kind of leaning towards the Matthews V3 just because so many people have recommended it. But I hope you enjoyed this little memorable turkey hunt recap. The season's coming. I want y'all to get fired up. I'm getting fired up. Everybody needs to start that turkey prep, drag out the decoys. I'm actually buying a couple new decoys, really expensive decoys. I'll show you on the next video to come. But stick around, y'all. Subscribe if you haven't. Old Fred, he says subscribe if you haven't, that's for sure. But we'll see you on the next one.